Anytime we have gorgeous weather like we did this past weekend, that's when you're going to see thousands of people hanging out enjoying the Beltline. There is no doubt about it. It is a popular place to go. And now Atlanta City Council is considering a new tax to help finish construction. But critics say the timing's terrible. Doug Richards explains. In a virtual meeting this afternoon, the Atlanta City Council got an earful from supporters and opponents of the new Beltline tax, which backers say would actually complete construction of the project. The Atlanta Beltline's popular East Side Trail is the success story, but the gravel trail on its southern underbelly through Grant Park and points west shows that most of the Beltline is still a work in progress. The new tax is designed to accelerate the Beltline's construction by taxing nearby commercial property like that of Puna Dianat, who backs the tax. I'm hoping it passes, but more importantly, I'm hoping the trail's finished up soon. And of Johnny Martinez, who does not. The Beltline claims that we benefit from being a half mile from the Beltline, and that's just not accurate. You know, we get as much benefit from the Beltline as we do from the streetcar. We don't see anybody from either one of them. Martinez runs two bars on Edgewood Avenue and opposes the tax, which would be fueled by a special services district, which would include business and commercial property roughly a half mile on either side of the Beltline project. The Beltline says 3,500 plus properties would collect the additional tax, but that half of them would pay less than $250 more per year. So there's a little bit of smoke and mirrors going on. Martinez says he finds it hard to stomach a tax hike at a time that his business is tanked due to the pandemic. But Diana says it would be worth the modest tax increase on his business. I think uh, $400 a year, as long as it's used in all the right ways to complete the trail, uh, is going to be a great benefit for us and will outweigh the cost. The city council is expected to vote on the project shortly. Discussion got underway a little before 4.30 p.m. and last we checked is still underway.